Welcome back everybody, I'm Tassie with Tassie Eats and today I'm finally doing a review on the Cajun House. The Cajun House, it is located in Northeast Minneapolis here in Minnesota. In the description, I'm gonna list like the details about the restaurant. Now, I wanna let you guys know up front though, this is actually part two of the original video. So I recorded me actually tasting it for the first time yesterday and when I went to go edit the film, there was no volume. So it's kind of, uh, you guys can check that video out. I'm going to upload it eventually, but I just want to let you know, there have been some people asking me to do videos where it's kind of like ASMR, where you're just kind of watching me eat without me talking. So you won't hear anything, <laughs> but you'll be able to see it all. So I'm just going to throw it out there. So this is actually my leftovers. Now I ordered a ton, you guys. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, they have 20% off of everything. And I didn't know that. So I went, I ordered, I ordered a bunch and I got 20% off everything. And then on Mondays and Wednesdays, they have all you can eat crawfish there. Now I got the house special sauce here and I asked for the spiciest they had. And originally with my real order, I had number one combo that includes a pound of shrimp, a pound of mussels and one snow cluster and then they uh, snow crab cluster. Then they also include like corn and everything like that. And then I also ordered king crab legs. So the king crab legs, I had a pound of that and then corn, I'm sorry, not corn, but I actually asked for potatoes in that one. So I am doing the second video and this time because I ate a lot of my food, I included some tiger shrimp in here as well. And just in case I can't finish it all, I'm just gonna put one to the side. And in case I can't finish it, I'll be able to give it to my boyfriend's cat and dog. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And um, you know, brief overview, because <laughs> I've already had this, you guys. I absolutely recommend it. You know, it's, um, I asked for a really spicy, and I don't know if I would go that spicy again. So it's not, I mean, it's spicy to a spice level that I like, but then as I was eating it, I was starting to wonder if all I can taste is spice. So maybe I would go just a, a level down, just so I can taste more of the sauce. And the sauce itself, it's, it's really good. Mm. And I love that they gave me this. <laughs> Originally when I opened up my whole bag, I saw two of these and I'm like, what are they trying to say? Like, are they trying to shame me that I should be sharing this? <laughs> I didn't share any of it. <laughs> um, the only thing is, um, it was kind of nice because I had to do a part two with all my leftovers. So it's kind of nice that they gave me two. I have to say you guys, the mussels, it's super good. You know, I've never had um, a seafood boiled mussels in there. I might have to start doing that because it's really good. I'm back and I got my shears. Okay, I'm gonna avoid eating that one till last. <laughs> so the shrimp, you can actually ask for the head on or off. And then I forgot to tell them to have it off. So I have heads on here. I think I scared a lot of my viewers because they didn't realize I'm eating the shell on my shrimp. Just so you know, it is edible. You can eat it. It's just a lot of people, they prefer to de-shell the shrimp because they, they're not it's uncomfortable for them when they try to swallow it and chew it. It's not for me, so I just eat it with the shell on. I really like the potatoes. And 
and the king crab, <clears throat> they actually kind of cut them all in advance so that there's, the sauce gets all inside of it, which I kind of like. And I definitely recommend this place, you guys, especially on Tuesdays and Thursdays with the 20% off. This was like originally 60 something dollars, like 68 or something. I don't know, I saved like 13 bucks with the 20% off. So I think that's a really good deal. Oh, God, let me, I just grab him. And really, since the sauce is like everywhere, you don't really need to dip it so much, but I'm just dipping them just to get extra sauce on there. Get all that sauce in here. <laughs> And I was peeling some of the shrimp for anybody who really wanted to see me peel it. And it was like spraying my face. <laughs> so I was getting it all over my face. It was driving me kind of crazy. Let's see if we can do this safely. <laughs> oh, and you know what? Just to give you guys an idea, once I peel this. <clears throat> I'm just gonna compare sizes to the tiger shrimp. All right, so this is um, this is like a regular large, large shrimp, and then this is the tiger shrimp. <laughs> so you know, it's like the tiger shrimp. It is much thicker and bigger, but you know, I wanted some extra shrimp in here because I ate a lot of the food during the first video. Mmm. water <clears throat> oh, look at this shrimp here
So good. Mm. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I really love eating potatoes and <laughs> dipping in here. I might just have to boil potatoes and just dip it in the sauce. And I was happy about their corn. So, at the Crazy Cajun in Brooklyn Park, the, um, the seafood boil itself was really good, but they had overcooked their corn. And the sauce was not sticking on it. The corn and the seafood, as well as uh, the Cajun house and wings and things, their sauces tend to stick better onto these. And my viewers, one of my viewers wrote to me and actually said that a lot of NFL players, they actually go, excuse me, they actually go here to the Cajun house to get their seafood boils. So you might want to check it out. And their place, it is cheaper than the other seafood boil places I've been to. What I'm still gonna do, you guys, I still have to go back to all the restaurants <laughs> and try out their other foods because you know, like they have like po boys and everything. <clears throat> ah, ah. Sorry. And um, I'm actually going back to Wings and Things to do another seafood boil. And this time I won't do any talking in that one, but you'll hear me eat, you guys. I'll turn, <laughs> I'll make sure I have the mic on. <laughs> I'll peel half of this one to please people. <laughs> This is the same sauce. It's just this sauce here is, is hotter than this one up here. Temperature hot, not um, spicy hot. I've been avoiding the legs. I think it's time to finally do it. Oops, my nose is starting to run a bit. So this one here is part of the snow crab. Because you get one cluster of snow crab as well. Oh my god. I avoid the claw part because I find that that's like the hardest part to open. And there's like hardly any meat in here. Oh, that was it. Mm. 
I really love eating snow crab. <clears throat> Owie. And this part here is actually the king crab. Ugh. Man. If I could, I'd have somebody peel all these for me. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. Like... The spikes here, they're really sharp. I just... Oh, that works. <laughs> Jesus. That's so much work. Alright, there goes the meat. a lot of food you guys <clears throat> from this video and the other videos a lot of food sad because I eat all my potatoes. <laughs> I got to order like just extra potatoes. Owie. Yeah, I got to order just extra potatoes next time. Oh. Mm. All right, the last piece, the big jumbo shrimp. Alright you guys, I do apologize for missing out on the first video. I'm going to be uploading that soon. I definitely recommend the Cajun House to you guys. Definitely check it out. 
And I know some people are afraid of like going to downtown Minneapolis or uptown or northeast because of parking. They actually have free parking right up front. And I didn't have find, I didn't have a problem finding parking. It was right in front of the building. Mm. Absolutely delicious. I'm going to go back there because they have a bunch of grilled food. So I need to go try those out. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody.